Welcome to class, everybody. We are behind the scenes here, and I'm going to try to read as many of your comments as I can. When we hear the music in this class, we spam. We spam vegan foods. Thank you for being here. Thank you for caring about the animals. Thank you for helping me to spread awareness. Thank you to everybody who is kind and considerate. Oops, went over. Thank you for everybody who is trying hard to be vegan. I know it's not always easy. I know I seem like a bit of a hard ass. It's because I really just care about the animals and I want you to take it seriously. Thank you to everybody who didn't eat any chickens today. Thank you to everybody who didn't eat any cows today. Thank you to everybody who is helping save the animals from such a terrible holocaust that they live in. Somebody's calling me vegan donut. Thank you for the compliment. Vegan donuts are sweet and everybody wants one. So we have here 13, 12 seconds left. When the video starts, I will turn down the volume and I will pay attention to you guys. Because you guys are my priority today. The comment section. So let me turn that down and let me pay attention to you. Let's see what it is. Oh, but first, wait, there's Bella. Bella. Hi, sweetie pie. Okay, I won't do that because it's too zoomed and you can't see it well anyway. You can see Bella. Go and see that video. It's, we're doing the one about uh, Vegan Street today and all the different memes that are there. Okay, so today, let's have a look. Oh my goodness, it's going so fast. How am I going to be able to... I'm going to have to slow this down. So I'm going to have to go to Video Details. I'm going to have to go to the uh, slow down mode so I can actually see what the heck you guys are saying. Let's slow this down to 90 and let's go here. All right. What have we got here? Let's see. Okay, so um, we have a moderator here, Vegan Claire, who's saying to watch don'twatch.org. Thank you, Claire. This is a very important documentary. It's six minutes long, and it will teach you all about the industries. The meat industry, the dairy industry, and how terrible they are. Please be as vegan as possible, everyone. Try to save animals. But learn the truth. Now here, this is very cute. We need some of the moderators to show these because they are wonderful vegan comments. So we have a here a vegan Lorenzo. Vegans try to avoid or minimize all forms of animal exploitation, including that of bees. As a result, most vegans exclude honey from their diets. So let's make vegan Lorenzo a moderator and see if this person is able to teach because that was a very good comment. We have vegan Mark here from Canada. That's where I live, I'm in Canada. And written here, documentaries to watch. Watchdominion.com. Earthlings, I've seen these. Cowspiracy, seaspiracy, so important. This is about the oceans. This is about cows and forks over knives is a, also a, a channel that you can get recipes from. The Game Changers is all about vegan athletes. The Land of Hope and Glory is about what happens in the UK. What the Health is about health and how your doctors are constantly bo being bombarded by ph pharmaceutical companies who want them to prescribe their products and they get kickbacks and all this crazy stuff. And also this watch, don'twatch.org. Again, this one is only six minutes. You could start with that. Don't forget to also watch Dairy is Scary. Somebody named Fractor says, can I have mod? Can I be a moderator? Well, you can't be a moderator unless you prove that you can teach today. Oh, somebody here wrote, today I ate some crackers and hummus. Good job. Hummus has two M's, by the way. But hummus is basically squashed up chickpeas. That's great. Eat those. Um, I like pizza, said somebody. Oh, it's gone already. But um, yeah, definitely, if you like pizza, eat vegan pizza. 
That's great. And we have here again these, and I'll show those again. Let people spam vegan foods. That's great. When was the last time you had any blueberries? Did you have some today? Write it in the comment section. Tell me what kind of vegan foods you ate today. Okay. Slow mode is on. Send the message every minute. Okay. Um, I can agree with the Sea World thing. Good. I'm glad that you agree. It's wrong to go to Sea World. It's wrong to support animal cruelty. And um, just so you know, yeah, this is what we're talking about here. These different kinds of memes that are there on a site called Vegan Street. So make sure you go and check that out. Veganstreet.com. And we're talking here about things that you um, shouldn't believe in about Friday the 13th because it's just a mythical stuff, but things that you should be worried about, like melting ice caps and animal agriculture. So I really like this site, um, veganstreet.com, because they have all these great little videos that you can, uh, not videos, but little, um, I don't know what you call them, memes, I guess. And here we're talking about the carbon footprint of eating meat and how it's important to not, not eat animals. So let's go back over here to you guys. Um, okay, this blue thing got held there. So let me see. What does it say? Um, okay, you're talking, Angie says, innocent beings. But in reality, whales literally eat other animals swimming in the water. So why can't we? We can't because we, we have moral agency and they don't. They cannot choose what they're going to eat or not eat because they don't have a brain like ours. But they don't mean any harm. They're just born that way. Whereas us... We can change. We are born vegan. We are born caring and not wanting to hurt any animals. When you see a baby playing with a, a little piglet and eating an apple, it's weird, isn't it? How you never see a, a baby trying to take a bite out of a pig and then, um, you know, just uh, play with the apple. It's rare. Most kids who are born are born with compassion in their hearts. So we have to try to hang on to that. You know, maintain your sense of compassion. And again, these are the things to worry about. Species extinction, COVID, worry about those things. And yeah, again, so this site is called veganstreet.com. Have a look at that. It's really interesting. Very good for projects or if you want to send a vegan message. Okay, so Vegan Lorenzo says, go to don'twatch.org. It's only six minutes. Thank you for saying that. What else do we have here? Um... Dinosaurs had feathers. I don't know much about dinosaurs, but it's amazing how many people do know about dinosaurs and yet they've never seen them. So that's the reason why you don't need to go to a zoo in order to learn about uh, animals. You can learn a lot just by watching some great documentaries. Okay, thank you Vegan Claire for, for putting all these vegan foods here. We've got smoothies, popcorn is vegan. Don't put um, butter on it, put vegan butter on it. And so we got somebody here saying hi. So hi to you. COVID and other viruses came from beachside. What? From came beachside of us troubling the ecosystem. Well, um, many of these viruses are zoonotic and they come from animals and animal agriculture and putting animals too close together. Leave animals the fuck alone. Leave them alone. Stop interfering in the ecosystem. Eat plants. Put veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds in your shopping cart. Peace begins on your plate. So open up your heart, be kind to the animals. And oh, by the way, in case I forgot to tell you, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See, there's my subscribe button. And behind the scenes, I also have all of these different comments in case you didn't know. This is my bank where I come here and I copy and paste different things to help to teach you different things that I have written about, about choice and clothing and bedding, all kinds of things. And coming out of the closet, all my, my views about all kinds of things. One of the things I suggest you do is come out of the closet as a vegan animal rights activist. That's a good thing to do. Be an animal defender. Okay, what else do we have here? Um, if you don't want to be vegan, if, if you want to be vegan, that's none of our business. So if we don't want to be vegan, that's none of your... No, it's not true, Dynasty, because there's a victim involved. When there are victims involved, it's everybody's business. We are a kind society. At least we should be. So if you were a big victim, Dynasty, would you say the same thing? Would you say, well, oh, let, go ahead, let people eat me. No big deal. It's none of their business. No, you would love me. I would be your best friend instantly, Dynasty. You would be there, Miss Katie, that vegan teacher, please save me. And I would say, ah, I'm not sure, Dynasty, you're pretty mean to me. Um, not sure if I should save you. 
you know, you talked about eating animals all the time. You didn't become vegan. You didn't help out in the comment section. Except the problem is that I'm not mean, so I would probably save you anyway. But then I would hope that you would become vegan. Um, I don't know who Matt Stoney is. No idea. Be kind, be vegan. Yes. I'm not sure why person's writing the word pigs there. You look like a fool. If speciesism is a thing, then you're going up against yourself. Mm, well, I might look like a fool to you, but I'm being as authentic as I can, and I'm trying to do my best to save animals. You know, I was put on this earth. I was given this body, this mind, and this heart, and this is what I choose to do with it. If you choose with your body to harm animals, I can't do anything about that. All I can do is control myself. My message here today is very clear. Be kind to the animals. Don't hurt them. Be as kind as you can be and imagine that you were vi the victim. And if you were the victim, how would you want to be treated? So treat others the way that you want to be treated. It's as simple as that. Oh, and by the way, did you see yet this little notebook that I have? There's a song that I composed based on this. Look. Every morning we are born again. What we do today is what matters most. So I keep notes in this book. But remember that. You can, you can be vegan. You can start now. It's never too late to save every chicken, pig, and cow. And even more than that. All right, what else have we got here? Oh, I stopped this again and keep this going. Watch Seaspiracy, says Lorenzo. Good idea. And this people are at the D's nuts. Uh, yeah, it's old. It's not funny. Ha ha. You guys are like nine years old. I don't know. Um, react to Hawaiian Railroad. And I don't know about that. I don't have time to react unless it's something that I think is going to help the animals. We should stop breeding farm animals. Thank you, Vegan Mark Canada. Very good point. Stop raping animals into existence. Leave animals alone. Vegan Claire says, in the dairy industry, baby boy cows are ripped away from their mothers and murdered for veal because they'll never be able to produce milk. The farmers steal the mother's milk and kill her for meat. It's so sad. Thank you, Vegan Claire, for being so kind and for caring about the animals. Yeah, cows only produce milk after they've had a baby. That milk is not ours. There you go. There's my comment that I just copied. We must not rape cows to create cows. Rape is wrong. Stop paying people to violate cows and steal their milk. There we go. Let's keep this going here. All right. Thank you, everybody, for all your comments here. Mm, I'm going to eat non-vegan snack. Well, go and eat a vegan snack instead. You know, don't be vegan phobic. Don't tell us about how you're going to harm animals. That's not nice. Just be kind. Be vegan. And you know you can start now. One of my goals is to ensure that the uh, English-speaking world knows what veganism is and that everyone knows about the documentaries such as Earthlings, Dominion Movement, and Cowspiracy. So that's one of my goals. What are your goals on this earth? My goals are to raise awareness about animal suffering because like you, I used to eat animals and I feel very bad about that and I really want to change. I want to do the best that I can to undo the damage. So the more people that become vegan, the more animals are saved. By the way, for those of you who know Gordon Ramsay, who is a terrible, cruel chef, it was, chef, it was, very, it was morally wrong of Gordon Ramsay to be vegan phobic and to encourage violence towards animals. We sincerely hope that he will change and open his heart to being more compassionate in the future. I hope that Gordon Ramsay will. I don't have a lot of hope, but I hope. <laughs> Leave the fish in the ocean. Watch Seaspiracy. Thank you, Vegan Lorenzo, for saying that. Um, you already asked me this once before, so let's give you a timeout because you don't, uh, you keep repeating yourself. My dad's allergic to coconut. Well, tell your dad to eat anything else. You know, you don't, if you're allergic, just don't eat that and eat one of the other thousands of foods that are out there. Researchers at the University of Oxford found that cutting meat and dairy products from your diet could reduce an individual's carbon footprint from food by up to 73%. Thank you for this important information. Another reason to be vegan. I need to gain weight. Well, if you want to gain weight, what you can do is eat lots of lentils, eat lots of chickpeas, eat lots of beans, 
and just continue to do your best to be as vegan as possible. If you need any recipes, by the way, you can go to a site here that's called Bosch.tv. It has lots of very nice recipes, lots of beautiful videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Coming up next on this channel are a bunch of other, vi other videos. If you haven't looked at them, be curious. Look at the other videos. Also, make sure you go to HowDoIGoVegan.com if you haven't yet. That's another important one. Thank you so much to everybody who is here. Thank you, everybody, for being so kind to me and to the animals. And if don't forget also to press the notification bell. I'll see you guys all soon. Popping up on the screen, click on those videos, though. Be curious. Look around my site. There's all kinds of amazing vegans and many not so famous or nice vegans. But um, you'll learn that it's great to be vegan. It's healthy for you and it's best for the animals. Thanks so much. Bye for now.